What's up, y'all? The NNS back working again, and this is part two. Well, part two of the video before this. So, yeah. We're gonna get straight into it. The less nature of his journey with new regions and Pokemon oh, constantly be being introduced hey, could no. represent Ash's subconscious attempt to prolong his <laughs> fantasy yeah. and avoid facing the reality of his condition. The coma theory also provides an explanation for the numerous impossible and fantastical elements of the show, such as the existence of waters. magical creatures and the incredible feats that Ash and his friends perform. These events can be seen as the products of a vivid, coma-induced <sighs> dream, rather than the reality of the Pokemon world. While this theory is undoubtedly grim, it adds a fascinating layer of complexity to the show and its protagonist. The idea that Ash's journey is merely a dream, born from the tragic circumstances of his coma, casts a poignant shadow over the otherwise light-hearted and adventurous series, forever changing the way we perceive the world of Pokemon and its enduring hero. Number six, the magic school bus and Miss Frizzle's true identity. Oh, yeah. Uh. Damn. Oh, man, childhood watching this shit was crazy. Astro astronomical. You can't even top that. Watching this, bro, during class, well, you didn't want to watch me. You want to do no damn work. We're not going to be doing no work, man. Pass that to the side. We're going to watch Miss Frizzle. Shit, and that should be short as hell. And I'm be pissed off with the lights to get cut back on. Should be bright as hell. Niggas be like, yeah, good, good, no. But yeah, I mean, let's see what it is with this. Magic school bus is a popular animated series that follows the oh, adventures of, a group of students and their eccentric oh, yeah. teacher, Ms. Frizzle, as they embark on extraordinary field trips aboard a magical shape-shifting bus. A captivating fan theory proposes that Miss Frizzle is not an ordinary teacher, but a powerful, timeless being who uses the bus to guide and educate her students on the wonders of the universe. This theory suggests that Miss Frizzle is a supernatural or extraterrestrial entity who has assumed the form of a teacher to educate her students about science and the natural world. So Miss Frizzle's an alien. I knew that bitch was crazy. Cause ain't no way you turn to a damn bus into this. Into something you, that you can't even see. I know that bitch was crazy. Alien. She a dope ass teacher though. Damn. Her vast knowledge, seemingly limitless abilities, and any. Oh. Hey. Don't watch this video if you're lazy. Don't watch this video if you're soft. Enigmatic personality all point to a being that transcends hey. the realm of human understanding. Don't watch One possible explanation for Miss Frizzle's true identity is that she is a time lord from the Doctor Who universe, similar to the Doctor himself. Like the Doctor, mm. she possesses advanced knowledge of science and technology, as well as the ability to travel through time and space in her vehicle, the magic... She was very educational. Yeah, I know that. She was very educational. I don't know what the hell is that. I School bus. Remember, so. Her eccentric fashion sense, unique teaching methods, and penchant for exploration further support this idea. Another possibility is that Miss Frizzle is an ageless, immortal being who has dedicated her life to spreading knowledge and fostering a love of learning in her students. Mm -hmm. This would explain her ability to take her students on seemingly impossible adventures, such as shrinking down to explore the human exactly. body or venturing to the depths of the ocean. Exactly. Regardless of the specifics, the theory that Miss Frizzle is more than just an ordinary teacher adds an intriguing layer of depth to the show. It presents a world where a powerful, enigmatic figure has chosen to use her abilities for the betterment of humanity, guiding the next generation of scientists, and explorers, like, and thinkers as they learn about and the that's wonders what we mess of the with universe. Her. This idea not only adds an air of mystery Heavy. to the character of Miss Frizzle, but also reinforces the importance of education and the limitless potential of human curiosity. Number seven, Adventure, Adventure Time's Times. Dark Backstory. Adventure Time is a beloved animated series that follows the adventures of Finn the Human and his best friend, Jake the Dog, 
in the fantastical land of Oo. While the show is known for its whimsical and colorful style, a dark fan theory suggests that the world of Oo is actually a post-apocalyptic wasteland, the result of a devastating nuclear war known as the Mushroom War. This theory is supported by various <gasps> clues scattered throughout the series, including references to the Mushroom War itself and the presence of ruined cities and remnants of advanced technology. The show's creator, Pendleton Ward, has confirmed that the Mushroom War is a key part of the show's backstory, lending credence to the idea that the land of Oo is a world recovering from a catastrophic event. The diverse array of mutated creatures that populate the world as well as the magical powers possessed by some characters, can be seen as the result of radiation and genetic mutations caused by the nuclear fallout. The absence of humans, apart from Finn, further suggests that the majority of humanity was wiped out in the war, leaving a world populated by bizarre creatures and remnants of a lost civilization. This dark backstory adds a layer of depth and complexity to Adventure Time that is not immediately apparent on the surface. The idea that the whimsical and colorful world of Oo is actually a post-apocalyptic landscape serves as a sobering reminder of the potential consequences of war and the resilience of life in the face of adversity. Number 8. The Smurfs as a Communist Society The Smurf For Adventure Time, my parents did not allow me to watch this shit. I couldn't even watch regular show, man. Yeah. And you miss no my childhood. At first we could watch it when it came out. I said yeah, we can't watch it one more. One more. <laughs> Beat your ass. Oh, no. oh, no. oh man. Every time I come around. Today's Smurfs, a classic animated series featuring a village of small blue <laughs> creatures living in harmony, might initially seem like a lighthearted children's show. However, a compelling fan theory posits that the Smurf society is actually an allegory for a communist utopia, offering a unique perspective on the underlying themes of the show. This theory is based on several aspects of Smurf society that mirror the principles of communism. The Smurfs share resources and labor equally among themselves, with no apparent currency or private property. Each Smurf has a specific role or skill that contributes to the overall welfare of the village, reflecting the communist ideal of, from each according to his ability, to each according to his needs. Additionally, the Smurfs are led by the wise and benevolent Papa Smurf, who wears a red hat and beard, possibly symbolizing the iconic appearance of Karl Marx, the founder of modern communism. Mm. Papa Smurf serves as the village's leader and decision maker, guiding the Smurfs towards the collective good rather than individual self-interest. The primary antagonist of the show, the evil wizard Gargamel, can be interpreted as a representation of capitalism and greed. His relentless pursuit of the Smurfs and desire to turn them into gold mirrors the exploitation and commodification of labor that is often associated with capitalist systems. While it is unclear whether the creators of the Smurfs intended for the show to serve as an allegory for communism, oh. this theory offers an intriguing reinterpretation of the series. By viewing the Smurf society through the lens of political ideology, we can gain a deeper understanding of the values and themes that underpin this seemingly innocent animated world. Number 9. The Dark Side of Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh is a beloved children's series that follows the gentle shit. adventures of a young boy named Christopher Robin yeah. and his animal friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. However, a thought-provoking fan theory suggests that the characters in the series actually embody different mental disorders yeah. or emotional issues. I heard about that. I heard. I still haven't watched the actual movie one, but I heard. But yeah, I definitely heard like some fucked up shit. Why all, all the good shit be like, oh yeah, that, yeah, yo, everything's messed up. Behind, like Peter Pan, messed up. 
Turns out that dude was evil as hell. I was like, what? And that made that man good, but he was really taking people, taking kids from their parents. Eh, I probably would. And then when they get older, hit that, hit that. Bow! Oh, he killed him. I don't know how he killed him, but. Weird. Whose constant obsession with honey could represent a compulsive eating disorder. Mm -hmm. While Piglet's timidity and excessive worry are symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder. Okay. Tigger's energy, impulsivity, and difficulty focusing ADHD? are indicative of attention deficit yeah. hyperactivity disorder. And Rabbit's need for order and control could be manifestations of obsessive compulsive disorder. Eeyore's perpetual gloominess and feelings depression. of worthlessness are classic signs of depression. Yeah. While Owl's inflated sense of self-importance. Take Final Cut Pro to the next bro, what's level. up with these ads, bro? Bundle, just $99 for every single Final Wait till I get my ads. I'm gonna just spam. Huge bundle. And please, you know, watch it, y'all. Watch it. And support, please. Say please. Importance and lack of empathy suggest narcissistic personality disorder. <laughs> Finally, Kanga and Rue's okay. relationship can be seen as Hold codependent. Up. Okay. Although this interpretation may not have been Milne's original and that's intention, all good it offers friends. a thought-provoking perspective on the characters and their struggles, shining a light on the importance of understanding and supporting those who struggle with mental health issues. See? Number 10. The Fairly Odd Parents and yes, Mental Yes, I heard. The Fairly Odd Parents is an animated television series that follows the life of a young boy named Timmy Turner who is granted magical fairy godparents named Cosmo and Wanda to help him navigate the challenges of his life. A popular fan theory proposes that the show is actually a depiction of Timmy's struggle with mental illness, with Cosmo and Wanda representing his coping mechanisms. In this interpretation, Timmy's fairy... If y'all see me moving, like, I probably got the, like, hyper... some shit. Like, I'm dyslexic. I have dyslexia, so... I know, I don't like sitting down like this. It's hard for me, personally. I could sit. It's hard for me to even sit in my own damn room. But as far as I know, I'm making good time. Fairy godparents are manifestations of his imagination, created as a means to escape the harsh realities of his life which include like, neglectful mind the parents, an evil babysitter, like... and social isolation at school. The fantastical adventures and magical powers granted to him by Cosmo and Wanda serve as an escape from his day-to-day -day struggles oh. and a way to maintain a sense of control over his life. The show's recurring themes of wishing for a better life, making mistakes, and learning to accept the consequences of one's actions can be seen as symbolic of the challenges faced by individuals struggling with mental illness. Timmy's journey to find happiness and balance, both okay. with and without the help of his fairy godparents, serves a- I always feel like his dad, like, hated him or some shit, like... Low-key. He was low-key, yeah. Like, they, they didn't listen to a word that this man said. I'm like, bro, did you not just see him? They only called Vicky, like, once or twice. Been tortured. Serves as a metaphor for the process of healing and self discovery. While the creators of The Fairly Odd Parents may not have intended for the show to be a commentary on mental health, this theory offers a thought provoking perspective on the series. By exploring the idea that Timmy's magical adventures are a representation of his internal struggles, we can gain a deeper understanding of the challenges faced by those living with mental illness and the importance of empathy and support in overcoming them. Number 11, Inspector Gadget, a Frankenstein story. Inspector Gadget is an animated television series featuring the titular character. All right, we're going to leave it at Inspector Gadget. Hey, thanks for watching another video. And we're going to be out of this thing. It's going to be a part three after this video, of course. Love y'all guys. Peace. You don't know me, son. Who's gonna carry the boats?